the main thing that helped me was uh, i would say i prepared notes whenever before i used to study i always uh, i always believed in notes as when i was doing my academics in focus time management i think even in classic time management is very 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 re uh, required the reason Uh, she scored a 695 which is uh, really an awesome score equivalent of a 750 or a 760 and she was also a student of the classic edition with us uh, she chose to write the focus edition because whatever the scenario i'll just ask her as well will this is the first time we'll be interacting on it. hey hi finally yes hello yeah hello, you've been part of our system for a long time it seems i came yes, to know I that was, yes <laughs> How was your prep? How has it been? How much time it took you? What all you studied? Just take us through everything in a chronological order, please. I came across top one. Uh, my friend suggested it to me and I attended a demo session and I kind of immediately understood that I needed this because um, out of, I think some questions were discussed on the demo session and I was unable to answer around two, three questions, which were actually very easy. Like if you just knew uh, what way you need to go. And then I realized that there might be a lot of such questions in the exam, uh, which will be easy, but I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. So yeah, that's when I decided. And I uh, took top one last July in 22 July. I graduated in 22 July and immediately after graduation, uh, I was working from home at Zoom. And uh, that's when I took top. And six months later, uh, I was still not convinced with my preparation because uh, I used to study for 20 days, 25 days, take a break for one or two months and come back and entirely start from the first page. Consistent fashion, I started around, I would say uh, one month before I took the exam, uh, one month, 25 days before I took the exam, uh, but right now I'm working at Reliance Geo. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a heavy work schedule, even uh, sometimes during the weekends too. Uh, so I try to take a little time out of it. And mm -hmm. the main thing that helped me was, uh, I would say I prepared notes whenever before I used to study. I always, uh, I always believed in notes as when I was doing my academics as well, mm -hmm. but for me, I would say notes were uh, very, very helpful because the way I would prepare notes is that uh, I would, uh, as as and when I'm going through the uh, course, I would prepare uh, the notes and whatever, even during the questions which you discussed, anything extra, I definitely used to add it to my notes. And I used to keep going through my notes every time I, pra I give a uh, I don't know, I practiced a few questions in okay. CR. Before starting the practice, I used to go through the notes again and again so that uh, those techniques uh, are on my fingertips. I'm not thinking about right. the techniques while I'm trying to solve the question. Right, right. Super. Uh, so let's say one by one, let's uh, start with RC, CR, then quant and then data insights. How did you prepare? What all did you prepare? So start with RC, yes. please. Starting with RC, uh, as I told you, I was preparing for LSAT as well. And LSAT have uh, longer passages. Uh -huh. LSATs, uh, so I used to try to read a lot of information really quickly, which <laughs> was entirely wrong because uh, you uh, the main thing I understood about uh, this, I would say both about CR and RC, more about RC, that while reading for the first time you need to have uh, so much concentration that you should not read. take time to digest it process it but you should not be reading it again if you go through it fast you'll be coming back to read it again and again which will just consume time so the first and second times it's just a waste so, so even if you take it slow yeah. yeah okay reread yeah the reading will consume a lot of time Okay, I, I I did according to the schedule uh, that was given in the classic GMAT course, mm -hmm. RC. Uh, I went through the videos and uh, you know the material according to the schedule. 
uh towards after like uh, i think uh, as far as i remember rc finishes first in the schedule right right uh, so uh, i used to you know uh, there is something called last minute uh, mega practice. practice right right yes uh, so in between i used to do those uh, practices uh, so that i don't forget i don't go out of practice with rc Because did you follow you... octave consciously initially or did you like just read and solve like how did you go about it uh, initially i was not very conscious i tried to be i pushed myself uh, in mm -hmm. the schedule it is clearly given which questions to be solved without timer and which questions to be solved with timer right. so uh, without timer the questions which were to be solved i tried to religiously follow octave Mm -hmm. which was very very helpful because uh, i took uh, maghush course before taking top and it just asked me to you know uh, make a picture of the whole rc by writing them down which is not at all useful uh, following mm -hmm. octave is definitely better than that okay right. uh, maybe you can remember the opinion the tone understand and you know uh, look for the contradictory words or not look for them again i would not say look for them again in the passage but while reading when you come across the contradictory words just they uh, strike you right they start striking you beyond a point i think yes be aware of them right how about um, critical reasoning uh, just take me through that now sure a uh, critical reasoning uh, yes the assumption assumption centrality technique that was mm -hmm. uh, definitely uh, Uh, nice the negation technique in the assumption as well mm -hmm. uh, conditional reasoning uh, was also like helpful for me mm -hmm. um, while uh, going through the course um, the problem i had mostly with uh, critical reasoning was inference questions which mm -hmm. i still have because those are the questions i made uh, like i made mistakes in those questions most probably on my test right. uh right. because probably you tend to assume a little and not verify very 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 strictly probably with just a little bit okay. of assumption because there is a very little stretch in the wrong answer just a little stretch but i think that is there are a lot of trap answers yeah. uh, shell game answers um but yeah mostly because i uh, had i did a lot of inference question practice uh, practice and inference questions an year ago and then i took a break then i didn't mm. practice them again so that's why um, right got it yeah how about the math part how did you go about tell me about data sufficiency also if there is something you did separately about it or the general math part as well okay a uh, quant um quant i didn't go through any extra material other than uh, what was in top one mm -hmm. um i was i i am a, uh, like i my background i i am actually i've graduated from triple uh, it bangalore mm -hmm. so my math was kind of fine uh, before mm -hmm. i uh, started doing uh, the preparation but yes there were a few things which was which i was not fine in which uh, the course was really helpful where um, statistics mm -hmm. uh, the median the mode mm -hmm. uh, those questions uh, the level of difficulty that is in the course the final exam is not even that difficult but it takes you through the whole concept in such a way that whatever uh, question you get in the exam mm -hmm. uh, and one more thing like on the final day of exam which i was very uh, very uh, full was that um, there was a relation between standard deviation and range in the material in the starting like before mm -hmm. the exam i was going through all the yeah. uh, starting uh, you mm -hmm. know synopsis and yeah okay, uh, standard deviation so, less than or equal to range by 2 that one you're saying yes yes i answered did you get I something mean, like that yes yes i got a question which uh, um it was a drop down question mm -hmm. uh where it was asking i think uh, between standard deviation and range yeah. and i might have done that by deriving that but since i went through the yeah. synopsis just before it i could do it within 30 40 seconds and all right quant, uh yeah that's all about quant i would say 
all right mm. and uh, what about the portal usage and di did you practice you did not have the di content of ours obviously initially yes, I but didn't. Uh, the four, the six exams uh, were enough for you it seems uh, you said right the official six exams were there with you the new uh, exams actually i didn't take all the six official exams i only took uh, the free ones um okay so i reset them and when you i think it has a large uh, question mm -hmm. bank so when you reset them mostly you don't get repeated questions right uh yes that was uh, so, all that your prep was for the di part right that is what you're saying essentially uh yeah i mean before i uh, when i uh, gave the mock i also uh, went through what kind of problems are there are i think five or six types of problems which are being given yeah uh, so what should students do and what should they not do when now you are on the other side so you can tell them at least and a very recent scorer as well so you probably remember yeah um yeah okay well uh, coming to that um i would say uh, in focus time management i think even in classic time management is very 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 re uh, required the reason i decided to take focus and not classic was that uh, i can concentrate a lot but not for a very long period of time so i thought this would be a better uh, go for me um also the order in which uh, the sections are taken we can choose them in the mm -hmm. focus edition and did you write the exam at the center or did you write it no i center? wrote it online because uh, in the last minute i couldn't uh, right. get a center um, also tell us if there are any glitches you faced i mean was was there any challenge or was it pretty smooth the whole online uh, thing? yeah there was there were a few challenges uh, the first thing was it was on over a zoom video call uh mm -hmm. after the exam started uh, there was a big uh, tab tabular question uh, it it was not tabular but i think multi source reasoning question uh, which involved four questions i made the whole table after uh, i was start trying to attempt first question she said that she was not able to see my screen so she gave me another app to download and then come back and clear the whole whiteboard i made a 16 block diagram oh okay So I I might was the first question itself. Oh, all right. So all right. that was there, and um, like you should probably ask her if your screen is visible before you start the exam. Okay, um, okay. That is all. But you restarted the whole thing then, like it was a re attempt of sorts. Like the that was not considered. No, 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 no. The time was uh, there before she paused. So. Mm -hmm. i i took around 3 uh, 4 minutes to make the table which was already passed she just paused the exam and she uh, okay so know, it was the same exam the it was not a readministration no 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 it was the same exam so did you panic so in that to... slot because anybody will just lose it i think in... i i tried i just tried to remember the 16 blocks which were present and mm -hmm. i try i panic a lot so i tried not to Um, right i mean this is obviously a situation that you never anticipate i am hearing yes. it for the first time as well so okay apart from mm -hmm. that anything unusual you would say on the exam in terms of uh, content you had studied or anything or was it pretty doable verbal quant di you didn't prepare much but still was there anything difficult or not doable or something okay uh i wouldn't say di is difficult but i would say it is uh, the way you uh, a uh, time yourself is very very important mm -hmm. um so as i told you i uh, my order of sections was i tried to do verbal first uh, quant and next and then di because uh, verbal needs a lot of uh, you get exhausted a lot from verbal at least i do uh, and uh, so i thought if i do that in the beginning then i can do it later but it was not working for me because i start slow the exam mm -hmm. i immediately cannot process it properly so i put verbal at the end and uh, di at the beginning right so after di and quant i took a 10 minute break and mm -hmm. uh, went for verbal so that order is uh, it depends from person to person you really have to uh, you know because you can choose you can take advantage right, of that right. and in terms uh, what of question I... content did you find anything unusual at all like content of study types 
uh not really uh, all types of uh, content was covered in the material at least uh, content verbal i would say uh, in my paper there were a lot of uh, um, you know in verbal there were a lot of uh, fill the um, uh, uh, you know complete given, the passage complete the yes passage with logically with right right yeah and, we would we do that in paradox and strengthen and weaken here in students yes yes materials. we do that yes but uh, there were a lot more than when okay. i went to the mega practice uh, the percentage of such questions were more um, apart from that anything else that you realized was unusual let me know uh, no it was all uh, pretty uh, whatever is uh, whatever we have you have told us uh, like the primary uh, the main purpose mm -hmm. primary opinion um related to the passage also this thing that uh, in rc which you mention it a lot of times that when there is when a question is asked about a specific phrase just go directly to that directly mm -hmm. to the location one. based thing that is yes the location based thing that was very helpful because i used to study the lines before and after that before i you know i took the course but go exactly to the location that is very very helpful mm -hmm. so also, nothing unusual in quant data sufficiency or verbal apart from just one thing that you mentioned right that lots of questions in complete the passage category yeah yes yes uh, it worked for me i would suggest for time management uh, what i did was this uh, when you write when you practice at home i used to practice from uh, if i i'm keeping a type for 2 hours i used to put an alarm after 2 hours and then stop but in exam uh, you see 45 to 0 countdown uh, right. so the time management was very difficult because i gave mocks at the pretty end uh, so what i i decided was after every five questions how much time needs to be left i have decided for all the sections right and uh, if after five questions what i've decided it is matching or it is near that i am fine otherwise i will either speed up or also after answering five six questions right you get a little tougher question this right. i have observed so i can give a little more time to that if i finish it earlier than what i've decided to finish right, it right, right. and i try to leave more time at the end so for every five questions i've timed myself that i need to finish it by this right. time so this did for work all. for you right? yeah this yeah. worked for me yes right any special uh, final word because now that you're on the other side and uh, then otherwise when when are you applying that also are you applying for any masters programs or mba programs later just tell me that uh -huh. as well okay the final word what i would say for the people who are about to write the exam is that please set a date apply for the exam and then start preparing <laughs> because uh, if you think that you'll prepare and then you'll go for the exam that will never happen okay that has uh, been your story also there'll, yes. <laughs> also there'll be a lot of panic and anxiety um and yeah during the preparation just just blindly follow the schedule that the top course gives you unless you are really really clear about your strengths and weaknesses and you can make a better schedule i couldn't but if you can you can but Yeah. Okay. Also making proper notes for each section. Right. Right. There. And are you applying now, or will you wait for? Yeah, a few I weeks? want to apply for uh, next uh, spring intake before the R two deadlines or. Okay. Okay. So the R three deadlines. Right. Uh, I have a very less experience, so yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> right. All right, Lassya. All the way best, and thanks for joining in. And I think it was a different story from everybody else's that I've heard. You got the score that will be competitive enough for any school admission. So need not rewrite, need not do anything else. It's an equivalent of a seven sixty on this uh, exam. We just compared this. So seven fifty, seven sixty. Sometimes it says seven fifty, sometimes seven sixty. Either way, you've done wonderfully well. All right. So all the way best for applications. Do keep in touch. Right. Bye bye.